Are you frustrated with your work? Feeling like your skills and your work is not where you'd like it to be? Are you feeling like you need another course? You need to advance your skills? If this sounds like you, please stop for a minute. This is gonna be a super quick video, but I really feel like it needs to be said. I am such a strong believer in continued education help. I have my own online continued education and I offer in-person continued education as well. I think it's super important to continue to grow your skill. That being said, it is not always the solution to your problem. If you are struggling with your work, if it is not at the level that you'd like it to be, the solution to your problem is probably not an advanced technique if you're not getting down the basic technique already. The answer is practice. Building up your skills, building up your confidence, and starting to work on models and clients. I know unless you don't feel that you have fundamentals, if you feel like your education wasn't good enough that you don't have those fundamentals to build upon, then you need to go back and potentially take another fundamentals course or a refresher course. But if you have the fundamentals, you just need practice. Put your head down and get to work. Practice. It seems like a lot of us think that this is going to come easy for us. And it is true that some artists are more prone to just kind of grasping it. It comes a little bit easier to them, but none of us are born knowing how to microblade, knowing how to create an ombre brow, knowing how to use a tattoo machine. We're not born this way. We have to learn it. We have to learn it and we have to put in the practice. I am no stranger to this. Um, when I first got into the beauty industry, the first course I took was eyelash extensions and I went to my first day of class and came home crying because I thought I was going to be so good at it. I have no idea where that thought came from. I had no background in beauty. I had never done something so small and precise before, but for some reason, because I had been getting my lashes done for a few years and like knew kind of what was going on, that I thought I was gonna be so good at it. I was very wrong. So what did I do? I put my head down and worked. I didn't sign up for a volume class right away because I didn't have classics down yet. How was I going to create fans when I could hardly place a classic lash on a natural lash? I put my head down and I practiced. I put out a model call to get as many models in as I could to get practice on a human being. And then when I felt a little more comfortable with that, I created a special to attract paying clients so I could make a little bit of money and still practice. Because the best way to master craft, the best way to get good at something is to practice it to put it into action, to put it into play, to do it. Of course, that being said, please practice on latex as much as you possibly can before you start seeing live models. But at the same time, you know the saying, feel the fear and do it anyways. Make sure you jump into live models before you feel 100% ready because you are never gonna feel 100% ready. That anxiety before a client, especially when you are newer, always exists. We're tattooing someone's face. It's a big deal. So make sure you jump in before you're ready, before you're 100% ready at least. So what are you waiting for? Pull out your practice pads, pull out your machine, pull out your blades and get to practicing. Spend an hour a day, spend half an hour a day, spend whatever little time you have to practice every single day. And then when you feel you're ready to take it to the next level, to start booking models, to start booking clients at a special rate, jump in with both feet and do it. And when you are ready for this, if you need help booking models or with discounted client specials, check out the B-School Business Banger Tutorial Time Investment Strategy. This is a signature method I've used through most of my career to book models when I started with new services and then to attract clients at a special rate to book more clients now, but to also get residual bookings in the future. Little bonus tip, I have a practice kit with everything that I need in it and I keep it under my coffee table in my living room so that if I'm ever bored watching TV or whenever, I can just grab it, take it out and start practicing without having to run around and get everything I need before I can actually sit down and do it. It's just all there ready for me to go. I can still relax and watch my show and then get some practice in. That's all y'all. If you liked today's video, please leave me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe and I will see you guys in two weeks. If you want more business education, check out Brow Tab B School at the link in the caption.